CBS Sports brings you a football game. On a Thursday afternoon in November. Sweetheart. Like it has for 60 years. Day gives us a chance to give thanks and a reason to cherish those things that we haven't lost. Like tradition and this holiday. This is Thanksgiving Day. It is for you and it is for me. It's for everyone we love and everyone we've never even met. Yes, this year, everything about Thanksgiving doesn't quite look or sound the same. But this American tradition remains and we'll continue to do our part. Hello, football fans. Stratomatic football fan, particularly, and I know that there are a lot of you out there because my card and dice football games get a lot of views. Today, I got another Stratomatic football game for you. This is going to be the 1972 Dallas Cowboys taking on the 1972 Vikings. As you can see, the Cowboys will be the home team. The Cowboys in 1972 were 10 and 4. And the Vikings in 1972 were seven and seven. So a three game difference between the two teams, but we'll see how it plays out here in a one, one off game between the two teams. The Dallas Cowboys defense was average to poor against passes, but excellent against the run. While the Minnesota defense was excellent against passes and average against the run. The Cowboys uh, are the home team and they have decided to um, kick off and defer to the second half. So the Vikings will receive the ball in the first half. Again, quick uh, going over quickly, I play with my own uh, house rules. So the black die, if the D comes up, it's a defensive penalty. And if the X comes up, it's a possible offensive penalty. And then I refer to see if it actually is. And we will go by one tick. The, you know, the uh, marker will move one um, tick on just um, plays, not on kicks. And when it gets down here to one end, that's one quarter. And then when it goes back the other way, that's the end of another quarter. So that's how we're going to do it. Um, and we will start with the kickoff by Dallas. And that is an eight on their kickoff, and that's a touchback. So the uh, Vikings will start first and 10 at the 20 yard line, as it was in 1972. That's where they started. Um, and uh, we will start, they are going to, the first play is going to be an end run <clears throat> by the halfback for the Vikings, and that. The halfback is Dave Osborne. Osborne. So Dave Osborne is going to start with an end run. And uh, the, uh, the uh, Dallas Cowboys are looking for the pass. So that is a, but it's on the end run for Dallas anyway. And end run six is one yard. So they get one yard, and they're going to go off tackle with the fullback. The fullback is um, Oscar Reed. So we're gonna, the Vikings are going off tackle with Oscar Reed. No penalty, and it is a four off tackle on the Dallas defense, and it's five yards. One, two, three, four, five, and they got a third and four. Third and four, they're going to go flat pass to the tight end and the tight end for the um, for the Minnesota Vikings is John Beasley so this is a flat pass to John Beasley the tight end and also we ran two plays and that is a six we look at six on Tarkenton and it is incomplete so they have to punt and that was another play and so they will the Vikings will punt the ball on fourth down and that is a seven, not too terrible, but not the best they could have had. 43 back one, so four, 10, 20, 
30, 40, and back it off one. And Dallas is returning the punt from their 31, and we will look at back one for Dallas. And that is a four, and that's going to be that's going to be a fair catch. So Dallas will have it first and ten at their 31. They go into action right there. They are going to start themselves with an end run to the halfback, and the halfback is Kelvin Hill. So this is going to be an end run with Kelvin Hill on first and ten for Dallas. And that is a 9 on end run on Minnesota, and that is going to be a 5-yard gain. So they get a 5 yards on first down, and they have a second and 5. They're going to go line buck with the fullback, and the fullback today for Dallas is Walt Garrison. So this is going to be a line buck with Walt Garrison on second and 5. And that's going to be a four on line buck on the Minnesota defense, and that's going to be nine yards and a first down. And they have a first down at their own 45. Dallas will go back to the end run, and they're going to end run with Kelvin Hill. And that's going to be a six end run on Minnesota, and that's only two yards. So they got a second and eight. They're going to go flat to the tight end. The tight end for Dallas uh, is Bob Hayes. Bob Hayes lining up at tight end, and this is going to be a flat pass to him. And that is a six, and uh, they were looking for, let's see, they were looking for the pass. So a flat pass six. And the quarterback for the, uh, for, for Dallas is uh, Craig Morton and that was what that was a six six is going to be five when they were looking for it so they've got a third and three. Third and three they're going to go line buck with the fullback and the fullback again is Walt Garrison so this is a this is a line buck with Walt Garrison and that is a 12 and a 12 line buck on the Minnesota defense is eight yards and a first down. So Dallas has a first down now at the um, Minnesota 39. And they're going to do a short pass to the flanker. And the flanker today is Lance Allworth. So this is going to be a short pass to Lance Allworth by Dallas. And um, that is going to be a possible defensive penalty. Uh, they are looking for the pass, I believe. Yes, they are looking for the pass. And it is a 10 short pass on Morton's card, which is intercepted 13 yards down the field, 2 to 10. But let's see if there's a penalty first on, uh, on Minnesota. That is a nine, and that is opponent offsides. So let's see if it's an interception. Two to ten, it's an interception, and they would refuse it. And it is. So it is intercepted um, 13 yards down the field. Four, ten. Back it off one. The interception occurs at the, at, at the Vikings' 26-yard line. And the interception return is a six, which is probably going to be all close to nothing. It is, well, no, it isn't. It's 12 yards. It's nice. And so they've got a first down now at their 38-yard line. Yes, 38. And uh, Dallas ran a couple of plays at least there that I missed. Probably three. So now the Vikings are going to come out and go end run with a halfback, and that is Osborne. Dave Osborne, end run. And that's going to be a four, and they are looking for the run. So end run four on Osborne when they're looking for it is negative seven. 
Holy crap. So now they've got a second and um, second and 17. Now Fran Tarkenton, and he's the quarterback for the uh, Vikings. He has to pass. He's going to go short to the flanker. And the flanker is John Gilliam. So they're, he's going short to Gilliam on second and 17. And that is a 10, and they are looking for the run. Are they looking for the run? Yeah, they're looking for the run. So um, that's a 10 on a short, short pass. And uh, that is incomplete. So Tarkenton throws incomplete on uh, second and 17, and now it's third and 17. They're going to go end run. No, they're not going to do that. They're going to go long. They're going to throw a long pass to the split end, and the split end for um, the Vikings is Gene Washington. So this is going to be a long pass to Gene Washington. Trying to pick up the first down, obviously. That is an 11 on long pass defense for Dallas, and it is going to be incomplete. So they're going to punt. The Vikings have to punt the ball, and it is a 5. Not a bad punt at all. That's 46 back 2. So 4, 10, 20, 30, 40, and 2. Dallas is returning. The, the punt from their own 23 yard line and eight on the return is going to be on the Minnesota punt return card and it's four no it's six yards so they have a first and ten Dallas does at their own 29 they've get, been getting good field position they just uh, they haven't scored although I think they've only had the, the ball one time anyway Dallas is going to start with an end run uh, to the halfback, and the halfback is Kelvin Hill. So this is an end run, Kelvin Hill, possible offensive penalty and a possible fumble. Um, they were looking for the run, though. So let's see. I believe they were looking for the run. Yeah. They were looking for the run, and five end run is on Kelvin Hill is negative one, two to four, or 12. He fumbles the ball, but first let's see if there was an offensive penalty. Seven. There isn't. No penalty on Dallas, and so he fumbles on uh, two to four or 12, and he doesn't. So he did not fumble the ball, but he did lose a yard. So it's second and 11, and they're going to go short to the split end. The split end for Dallas is Ron Sellers. So this is going to be a short pass to Ron Sellers. Or wait a minute. Yeah. And that's going to be an eight on the short pass Minnesota defense, and that is going to be incomplete. So now they've got a, a third and 11. They're just going to go end run with a halfback and hope they can catch him with their pants down. It's going to be Kelvin Hill on an end run. And that's going to be an eight. They won't catch him with their pants down. Eight end run is going to be one yard. And they have a fourth and ten, and they will punt the ball away. And that's a four. That's going to be a nice punt. That's 45 back to one. 10, 20, 30, 40, and 4. And the Vikings will be returning it from their 26-yard um, line. And uh, we will check that out. That's a 3. 3 on the punt return. Number 2 is a fumble negative 2 yards. And they recover it 2 to 6 or 12. 7, they do not. And so Dallas will take over possession on a muffed punt at the Minnesota 24. This is going to be their best shot of the half to try to get um, some points. 
They're going to go end run with the halfback. That's Kelvin Hill. So end run Kelvin Hill on first down. And that is a 12, and they are looking for the run. So 12 end run Kelvin Hill is zero yards when they're looking for it. So it was pretty benign. <laughs> Uh, they get no yards, and they have a second and ten. They're going to go short pass to the split end, and that is Ron Sellers. So this is going to be a short pass to Ron Sellers. And that's a two short pass on the Minnesota defense, and um, that is going to be 13 yards, two to six. And it is not. It's incomplete. So they have now got a third and I believe this is a yes, third and ten. They're gonna go short pass to the tight end, and the tight end is Bob Hayes. So this is a short pass to Bob Hayes. And that's gonna be an eight short pass. They're looking for the run, I believe maybe not. Let's see. Third and ten. Third and ten. They are looking for the pass. Yes, they're looking for the pass. So um, this was an eight on short pass on Craig Morton. And looking for it is incomplete. So they're going to have to try to kick a field goal from the 24-yard line, Dallas will. And from the 24, they are a good 2-5, to five, 11, or 12. And that is Tony Frisch. Tony Frisch is good only 2-5, to five, 11, or 12 from the 24. Unbelievable. But he does make it. And so that gives the Cowboys three points. And they have a 3-0 lead. And they will kick off. And the kickoff is a three, and it's going to be negative five in the end zone, back one. But uh, the Vikings will just take it on the 20. And it's going to be first and ten for the Vikings at the 20-yard line. They're going to go end run with the halfback. They're only down three nothing, and the halfback is Dave Osborne. Or maybe it's pronounced Osborne, I don't know. You leave it in the comments. So end run six, and I believe on first down that is they're looking for the run. So <clears throat> a six end run when they're looking for it is zero yards. And they're going to go off tackle with the fullback now, and the fullback is Oscar Reed. Off tackle, Oscar Reed. Six on the Dallas off tackle defense is two yards. So Reed gets two yards and you got a third and eight. So now they've got to get something. They're going to go flat to the tight end. And the tight end for the Minnesota Vikings is John Beasley. So this is a flat pass to Beasley, the intended receiver. And that is an eight. And... Uh, Let's see. Eight when you are looking for the pass, as I believe they probably are. Yes, they are looking for the pass. And um, so flat pass eight on Tarkenton's card is receiver. So we will refer to um, John Beasley's card. That is a six, and a six when they are looking for it is seven yards, and now they have a decision. <clears throat> because they have a, they have a, uh, a fourth and one right here. And they're going to go for it. They're going to go for it. Um, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, they're going to go for it, and they're going to do a flat pass because Dallas is average to poor against passes. They're going to go flat to the flanker. And the flanker for the 
uh, for the uh, Minnesota Vikings is John Gilliam. So this is a flat to Gilliam. That is a seven on flat pass on the Dallas defense. And it's four yards. They gambled and they won. They got four yards and they have a first and ten. And they keep possession and keep the ball moving. They're going to go um, end run with the halfback. Oh, wait, there was a possible offensive penalty. Let me see if there was a... Uh, I'm glad I caught that. Possible offensive penalty. It's a five. And they were offside. So, actually, they don't have a first down. They still have a... Uh, they still have a... Well, now, now it's... Um, it was fourth and one. So, now it's fourth and... Six. Yeah, now it's fourth and six. Now they got a punt. And they will. Seven. So seven yard or uh let's see. Forty three back one. Two, ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Um and one. So Dallas is returning the ball from their thirty four yard line on the punt return and that's a three um, back one punt return is going to be negative two yards so they lose two yards on the return and now they are going to go first and ten from their uh, 32 yard line and they're going to go end run with the halfback three nothing Dallas here um, we're approaching the end of the first quarter, and that is a 10 end run for um, uh, for Kelvin Hill. 10 end run when they are looking for the run. Um, let's see. When they're looking for it, or whether they're not, it's five yards. So they get five yards. Second and five, they're going to go flat pass to the tight end. The tight end is Bob Hayes, so this is a flat pass to Bob Hayes. And uh, that is, again, looking for the run, and that's going to be a six. Flat pass six for Morton is ten yards when they're not looking for it. So Dallas has a first down at the 46-yard line, and that's going to be an end run with a halfback. They're going to come out on first down with that, and that is, I believe, Kelvin Hill, right? Yes, it is. That's a 12 end run on the Minnesota defense, and that is six yards. So they get a uh, six-yard, let's see. So they've got a second and four. They're going to go flat to the tight end. The tight end is Bob Hayes. Flat pass to Bob Hayes. And that is an 11. And it's on the uh, Minnesota defense for flat pass, which is negative one. So now they have a third and five. I believe, right? Yes. Third and five. They're going to go end run with Kelvin Hill. That's what they're going to do. And that's going to be a six end run on the Minnesota defense six, and it's only two yards. So they, with a fourth and three, are not going to punt. Or, I mean, not going to go for it. They're going to punt. And then, uh, the punt is a six, which is 39 back two. So two... 10, 20, 30, 5, and uh, back it off 1. And so Minnesota is returning this from their 11. And that's a 12. Wow. Um, so let's see. 39, 39 back 2. Back 2 on a 12 on a punt return is, oh, okay, that's, on the Dallas return, and the Dallas return for 12 is zero yards. So Minnesota has it first and 10 at their 11. They're going to go end run with the halfback. They're still only losing 3 nothing. I think they're being outplayed. I think you could say that, but they're only losing 3 nothing. So this is going to be an end run with uh, 
Osborne. It is Osborne. All right. I don't know where I got the I from. So Dave Osborne end run. Uh, seven end run on the uh, Minnesota defense or on the Dallas defense. End run seven is one yard. They're going to go off tackle with the fullback. So off tackle with Oscar Reed. And that's going to be a seven off tackle on the Dallas D, and that's nothing. That's a whole lot of nothing right there. And now they got a third and, I believe, a third and nine. So this is going to be flat to the tight end. The tight end is uh, John Beasley. John Beasley, they're going flat pass. That is a 12 flat pass on the Dallas flat pass D, and that's going to be 24 yards. Wow. So, um, yeah, 3, 10, 20, and 1. So they got a – Minnesota has a first and 10 at their own um, 36-yard line. And uh, with that, we're going to be at the end of the first quarter. So let's see. They are at their own 36. We'll turn them around and have them going back the other way from the 36. And on a first and 10. <clears throat> and they're going to go end run with their halfback, and that is Dave Osborne. So end run, Dave Osborne on first down. And that is a 12 end run on the Dallas defense, and that's only going to be two yards. So they got a second and eight, and uh, they're going to go off tackle with the fullback on second and eight, and that's Oscar Reed. Not a lot of penalties in this game, surprisingly. There's a possible defensive penalty, though. Eight um, off tackle on the uh, fullback when they are looking for the, the uh, what are they looking for? Second and, second and eight. Second and eight, they are looking for the pass. And uh, so that is an off tackle eight on the fullback, and that is going to be two yards but let's see if there's a defensive penalty on Dallas. That is a seven. There isn't. So it's only two yards. Only ends up being two yards. And so they do have a third and seven now. Third and seven. They're going to go flat to the tight end. And their tight end is John Beasley. So this is a flat pass to Beasley on third and seven. And that's going to be a four flat pass on Dallas's D. And that's going to be intercepted 2 to 3 or 12. And it is not. But it is incomplete. So that, um, the Vikings will have to punt. And that is a 10. That's a terrible punt. But they have good field position. So that may not matter. It's going to be 39 back 1. So 10... 20, 30, 40, and then back it off. One, Dallas returning from their 21-yard line. And that is a five. Back one is a fair catch. So Dallas, the Dallas special teams, I'm not impressed with them. They're not that good. But Dallas is leading 3-0 here as we are um, in the second quarter, early second quarter they're going to go end run with the halfback, and the halfback is Kelvin Hill. And uh, that is going to be a four, end run four on Minnesota's defense is nine yards. So they got a second and one. Second and one, they're going to go line buck with their fullback, that being Walt Garrison. So this is going to be a line buck, Walt Garrison. And that is a six, and they were looking for the run I think let's see second and one one to three they're looking for the pass so they're looking for the run this is a line buck by the fullback looking for it on six 
And that is going to be two yards and a first down. So Dallas has now got a first down at their own 32 yard line. They're going to go flat to the tight end. And the tight end is um, John Beasley. Or wait a minute, no, the tight end for Dallas is, is uh, Bob, Bob Hayes. Seven flat pass, possible offensive penalty. Um, seven would be um, if they are looking for it, which they are not. Um, seven would be nine yards, but let's see if there's an offensive penalty on Dallas. Eight. Eight says number five, so there is going to be a penalty on Dallas. And number five uh, pass is holding 10 yards from the original line of scrimmage. So they've got a uh, first and is that, was that second down? Might have been second down. Now I'm going to say it was first down. So now they got a first and a first and twenty. So now they're going to they're going to try a long pass right now, uncharacteristic, but they're going to try a long pass to Lance Allworth, the flanker. And that's going to be a six long pass on Minnesota. Long pass six is intercepted, thirty-three yards downfield. It's just intercepted. There's no. No split. So 1, 10, 20, 30, and 3. Minnesota intercepts the ball at the 40, at their own 42 yard line. And the interception return is a 10. That might not be too bad. That's going to be only 13 yards, actually. So they have a first and 10 at the, four, at the Dallas 45. And uh, they're going to go end run with the halfback. They're going to keep hammering it. This is Dave Osborne. That is a 10. 10 end run on Dallas's end run defense is negative 2. Now they're going to go short. They're going to go short pass to the split end, and that is Gene Washington. And that is going to be a four with a possible offensive penalty. Four short pass on the Dallas short pass defense is two to eight or 12. It's picked off. Nine, it is not. But let's see if there was an offensive penalty on Minnesota. Eight, Minnesota. There is not. So it's incomplete. And that gives them a third and like 14. And they're going to go... Long pass. No, they got to go short. They got to go something high, higher percentage. They're going to go short to the tight end. Short to the tight end, 11 on the defense. The, uh, there's a possible defensive penalty, but short pass 11 is a long game. So let's see if there's, first let's see if there's a, a defensive penalty on Dallas. Five. There is their offsides, but let's see if they get the long gain. Or what the long, well, probably they're going, to refer, they're going to refuse it anyway, because it is a long gain. For 55 yards and a touchdown, so I would say yes. Penalty. And I think I'll roll the dice, but it's good anyway. And so uh, Minnesota has a 7-3 lead in the game, and they're going to kick off. And this is what happens when you keep when you're in a running era game, and you keep running the ball, you're going to have a low scoring game. Uh, eight on the kickoff for Minnesota is to the three, number one. So Dallas is returning from the three, the number one back, and that is a seven, and that's going to be on the Minnesota return for kickoffs, and that's going to be a 20 yard return, so out to the 23. First and 10 for Dallas at the 23. They're going to go end run with a halfback. And that's Kelvin Hill. And that is an 8. And there's a possible offensive penalty. 8 end run when they are looking for the run. 
um, is zero yards, but let's see if there's a penalty on Dallas. That's a, that's a five. That is, they're offsides. So that's going to be five yards, and it's going to be a first and 15. And they're going to go short pass to the tight end. They're done playing around. They're going to go short to Bob Hayes. And that is a seven, and there's a possible defensive penalty. Let's see if they are, whether they're looking for the pass or not on second and 15. Um, 1 to 12, they were looking for the pass. So they are looking for the pass, and that is a 7. And on Morton's card, that's 14 yards, which would be almost a first down. It would be a third, it would be a second and one. But let's see if there is a defensive penalty. 6, there is not. So it, they get 14 yards, and they have a uh, second and one now. Second and one, they're going to go line buck with the fullback, and the fullback is Walt Garrison. So this is going to be a line buck, Walt Garrison on second and one. And that is an eight, and they are looking for, let's see. One to three, they're looking for the pass. So they are looking for the run, and this is an eight line buck, and it is going to be three yards. Dallas gets the first down, and they have a first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They're going to go flat to the tight end. That's Bob Hayes. Going to Bob Hayes a lot here, and, and why wouldn't you? And I lost my dice, so we will grab another one. And that is an 11 flat pass when... They are uh, looking for the run. Flat pass, 11. Looking for the run. That is going to be 11 yards. And a first down. And Dallas has another first down, this time at, the four, at their own 47-yard line. They're going to go end run with the halfback. And that is uh, Calvin Hill. Kelvin Hill, eight and run is going to be only a yard. And there's a possible offensive penalty. So let's roll that for Dallas. Seven, there isn't one. So it is just one yard. And on second and nine, they're going to go flat pass again back to, this time they're going to go to the split end. They're tired of going to Bob Hayes. And uh, they're going to go to Ron Sellers. This is going to be a flat pass to Ron Sellers. And that is a nine with a possible offensive penalty. The uh, Vikings are looking for the um, they're looking for the run. So this is a flat pass nine on Morton's card, which is receiver, and on uh, Sellers card a three. It is going to be incomplete, but let's see if they had a penalty on top of that. Ten, they don't, but it is incomplete, and so it is uh, second and, I think it's second, um, no, third and eight, I think it's like third and eight. So third and eight, they're going to go end run with a halfback on third and eight. And that's going to be Kelvin Hill. They're going to try to catch him with their pants down. That is a four end run on the Minnesota defense, which is nine yards and a first down, but it's a possible defensive penalty on Minnesota. That is a seven. That is not a defensive penalty. So they do get the first down, Dallas does. And now they work it down to the Minnesota uh, 42 yard line. And they're going to go flat pass with the tight end to the tight end, and the tight end for um, for the team is Bob Hayes. Going back to Bob Hayes again, that is a nine flat pass looking for the run, I believe. Um, so nine flat pass nine is a receiver. Possible offensive penalty, though. It's a 10. Flat pass 10 is 
um, seven, it would be seven yards, but let's see if they have a penalty. Six, Dallas, six, no, they don't. So it is seven yards. And they have a second and three. They're going to go line buck with their fullback, and that is Walt Garrison. So they're line buck with Walt Garrison. And that is a nine line buck on Minnesota's defense. And that is going to be three yards. And that is a first down. So Dallas gets a first down. They move the chains. Uh, they have a first and 10 at the Minnesota 32 yard line. They're going to try to do a long pass right from here, long to the flanker. And the, uh, the target there is going to be Lance Allworth. Long to Lance Allworth, and they are looking for the run. And um, <clears throat> that is a 10. And uh, hmm, that's a 10, 10 long. That's inter there. It's intercepted 35 yards, two to eight, 11 or 12. Yeah, and it is 30 and 35 yards. They'll just take it in the end zone, or they'll take it on the 20 and have it come out to the end zone or out to the 20. So uh, that was a costly mistake by Dallas. They tried to get greedy to try to get ahead here. And um, they're going to do an end run with a halfback. And let me see. Let me just take a look here. No, it says it can't occur. I'm surprised an end run can't occur with Fran Tarkenton. But they're going to go end run with their halfback, and that's Dave Osborne. And that is a four. And... Uh, Looking for the run for on Osborne's card is negative uh, seven again with the negative seven. I don't know how good Osborne really was. Had a 3.2 yard average, so not really all that great. They're going to go short pass to the tight end, short to the tight end, and that is John Beasley. Second and 17 going short to John Beasley, and that is a four. And uh, four on Tarkenton is with them uh, looking for it. I believe they're looking for it, yep. And that's going to be seven yards. So they get the seven back. And now they have a third and ten. And they're going to go short pass to the flanker. The flanker being John Gilliam. So this is a short pass to John Gilliam. And that is a five with a possible offensive penalty. Five on short pass is uh, incomplete if they were looking for it, but I don't think they were. Third and ten. I don't think they were. No, they were looking for the run. So um, let's see. Well, let's see if they have an offensive penalty first. There's a possibility they have an offensive penalty. Seven, they don't. So, um, and, and if they weren't looking for it, which they weren't, it is, uh, it is a 12 yard gain, because it was a 12 yard gain on five. So they get a first down, Minnesota does, and they have it first and 10 at the 32. They're going to go long. They're going to go long pass to the split end. The split end is, um, let's see, the split end is Gene Washington. This is going to be a long pass to Gene Washington. Minnesota try and open it up. Seven on the long pass defense of Dallas is negative nine. Tarkenton is sacked for a nine-yard loss. They didn't really need that. So now they have to go short again, back to the short to the flanker. That is John Gilliam. They're going to go short to Gilliam. And that is a 12. And the possible defensive penalty and 17. They are still looking for the pass, though. Um, I think on second and 17. No, they're looking for the, they were looking for the run. 
So uh, 12 on a short pass, not looking for it is 11 yards, but let's see if there is a defensive penalty. And that is a five and it's offsides on Dallas. I think they would be better off taking the penalty and having a uh, second and 14 than having a third and no no they're gonna they're gonna take the play and they've got a third and like um, one two three four five seven yeah I got like a third and seven actually third and eight so they got a third and eight um, and they're gonna go flat pass to the tight end and the tight end is John Beasley so this is a flat pass to John Beasley and that is a six flat pass on the Dallas defense and that's seven yards and I think that leaves them with a um, fourth and one and again another decision they got a fourth and one and they're going to go for it. They're going to go flat to the halfback. Flat to Osborne. And that is a four flat pass on the Dallas defense, which will be intercepted two to three or 12. But even if not, it's incomplete. And six, it isn't intercepted, but it is incomplete. And so that was a... Uh, valuable wait a minute there's an offensive well Dallas would refuse the penalty whatever it was seven I don't think there is one there isn't one but Dallas is going to take over at their um, 40 at the Minnesota 42 yard line and this is the two minute warning so time won't move on this one and Dallas is going to go end run with a halfback since the time isn't going to move and two minutes is plenty of time if you can move the ball and that is a seven with a possible offensive penalty um, on the uh, halfback who is Kelvin Hill and that would be five yeah, no they're not looking for it so it would be a short game but let's see if there's a penalty on Dallas and that is an 11 there isn't so let's roll for the short gain and the short gain is a three that's going to be huge that's going to be 19 yards so 2 10 15 17 19 they're down to the minnesota 23 yard line and now that looks like a very bad decision by minnesota to go for that fourth and one it's going to be short to the tight end this is bob, short to bob hayes and that is a four short pass on the Minnesota defense is going to be intercepted 2-11. to 11. And that could be a big mistake. And it is. 2-11 to 11 intercepted 11 yards downfield. And Minnesota is returning from their own 12-yard um, line. Interception return 6 is 12 yards. So 3-10... And back it off one. They've got it first and ten at their uh, at their twenty-four, and they're going to go end run with a half back. What a half this has been! Both teams with the ball back and forth, up and down the field, but only seven to three right now. End run with the half back, Dave Osborne. That is going to be a five, and it's a possible fumble. They were looking for the run as well, so. End run five is fumble negative three, two to six, 11 or 12. And it is in negative three, two to six or 12, they recover. They don't. And they, they lose three yards and Dallas picks it up right at the 20. So now Dallas has it. First and 10 at the Minnesota 20. They're going to go short to the split end, although Dallas keeps getting picked off on this play, but they've got to keep trying it. Uh, six, there's a possible defensive penalty, and this is a six on the short pass. Um, it's incomplete, 
but let's see if there's a defensive penalty. Four on Minnesota is nothing. So there is no penalty at second and ten. And Dallas is going to call a timeout on this play. They're going to go end run with a halfback on second and ten. That's Calvin Hill. That is an eight end run. And that's only a yard. They called the timeout, so time didn't move. They're going to call their second timeout, so the time won't move on this one. They're going to go flat to the tight end. Flat pass to the tight end. That is a five. They are looking for the, I think, let's see, second and 1 to 11 pass. They are looking for the pass. And it is a five flat pass. And that's incomplete. And no pen, no possible penalty. And they, were, they called the timeout, so time didn't move. And so now they've got a third and like nine yards to go. They're going to go short pass to the split end, hoping to put it in the end zone. The split end is Ron Sellers. That is an eight. They are looking for the pass. And there's a possible offensive penalty. Eight on short pass, though, is, uh, if they're looking for it, it's incomplete. So let's see if there was a penalty on them. And seven, there isn't. So they've got a fourth down from the, uh, and they weren't calling, they didn't call their third time out there, that I recall. So uh, they've got a <clears throat> fourth down from the 24 I think it's the same thing as before 2 to 5 11 or 12 the field goal is good and it is puts the field goal up and good and it is 7 to 6 and, and Dallas will kick off that is a 4 0 yards into the end zone back number 2 they will return it from the 0 And that is a seven. It's going to be on Dallas's return card, and it is 28 yards. So they have it first and 10. Minnesota does at their own 28. Not a lot of time, and even with timeouts, they're not going to try it. They're up by one, so they're going to go end run with Osborne. And that's going to be a two end run of the long game on the Dallas defense. No penalty. That's a five. Long game five is 48 yards, and now they might rethink that. 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, and 2. And that is a first and 10 at Dallas's, um, Dallas's 28. Time ticked there because they didn't call timeout, but they will call a timeout now. And they're going to go short to the split end on second down. And that is a nine, and they're looking for the run. Dallas is looking for the run, and that is a nine short pass. And that's incomplete. Uh, time doesn't move because they were looking for the time, or they were uh, taking a timeout. They're going to go off tackle with the, with the, uh, with the fullback. They're going to go off tackle with Oscar Reed. And they're going to call their second timeout, so time won't move on this either. And that is a nine off tackle. And they are looking for, let's see, five on second and 10. They are looking for the pass. So um, yeah, they're looking for the pass. So that's a nine off tackle and that's going to be seven yards. And that's what they needed. They at least needed to get a better field goal shot. And they're gonna take their third and final time out and they're going to go flat to the tight end. And that is a four flat pass, possible offensive penalty, and it's going to be a possible interception. You did not need that. Um, let's see. Flat pass intercepted two to three or 12. It is not intercepted. It will be incomplete. And let's see if there was an offensive penalty, which they also don't need. That is a five. And it is offsides. So that's going to be a replay of um, the third, I think, third down. 
So now third and like seven or eight. And time will move on this. They're going to go sh short to the flanker. So short pass to the flanker. That is John Gilliam. This is a short pass to Gilliam. Four short pass is a possible pickoff again. Two to five or 12. And it is. It's picked off 13 yards down the field. One, ten, two. Dallas returning from their own. Uh, the interception from their own something yard line and that's going to be a zero yard return on the interception so they have it right there and man this was a wild end of this uh, this half they're just going to go line buck with the fullback on first and ten and uh, the fullback for them is Walt Garrison and that is a three uh, on line buck on the Minnesota deep no no on on Garrison and they were looking for the run and that's going to be a negative one uh, really they don't care they're just trying to run out the clock here they're going to go off tackle with the halfback Kelvin Hill and that is a 12 off tackle Calvin Hill 12 is a short gain they are looking for the they're looking for the pass I think on the 10 pass yeah they're looking for the pass so that is a short gain and that is a 10 on short gain which is 12 yards so they get the first down just barely at the 23 yard line but this is the last play of the half they're just going to launch it and see what happens they're going to go long to the flanker and the flanker for dallas is lance allworth and that is a six and a possible offensive penalty um six long is on their on the uh minnesota defense is intercepted 33 yards down the field 2 10 20 30 now there was a possible offensive penalty but they would probably refuse that five it is offsides but they would refuse it Minnesota returning the interception from the um, from there and that's a four the interception return four is 25 yards it's not enough for a touchdown and so that's how the half ends wild big turnovers back and forth for each team but we are at the end of the first half of this game with the score minnesota vikings seven and the dallas cowboys six hello football fans we're back for the second half of the game between the vikings and the cowboys now i looked this up um, on the break and it turns out that the Vikings didn't play the Cowboys in 1972 at all so we have a 7-6 game and this is the only known contest between the 72 Cowboys and the 72 Vikings and the Cowboys will be receiving the second half kickoff so we will see what that is it's an eight on the Minnesota kickoff which is to the three number one so Dallas will be returning from the three yard line with their number one back and that is a four and that is going to be 29 yards so it'll out, be out to the 32 yard line and it's a first and ten for Dallas at their 32 there are some lineup changes and when the um, when the uh, Vikings are on offense I will give you those but for Dallas the lineup changes are that Bob Hayes will move to flanker and Mike Dicka is coming in at tight end for Dallas also Kelvin Hill will be the new fullback for Dallas um, replacing uh, I believe it was uh, Garrison so uh, that's going to be the change. Th those are the changes for Dallas in the second half. 
Uh, since they only scored six points, they obviously needed to make some changes to shake things up. And they're going to start with an end run to the halfback, which is going to be Calvin Hill. And that is a six with a possible defensive penalty. They are looking for the pass. So six end run is um, a short gain. But before we do that, let's see if there is a defensive penalty on the Vikings. And there isn't. So that is going to be a short gain by Kelvin Hill. And he gets a six on the short gain, which is 16 yards. And that's a 16-yard run, opening run, for uh, Kelvin Hill of Dallas. And now Dallas has a first and 10 from the 43-yard uh, line. And they're going to go off tackle with the new fullback, Robert Newhouse. And that's one play. We got to get that in. That is a 10 off tackle on the Minnesota defense, which is going to be five yards. No penalty, no possible penalty, so it's a five yard gain. Second and five for Dallas. They're going to go line buck with the halfback, Calvin Hill. And that's a five. That's going to be a possible fumble. And uh, 18, is, and it's on the defense. So five, um, five line buck on the Minnesota defense is fumble six yards, two to nine. And uh, it is not. So he gets six yards and a first down. And so now Dallas has a first down. They've moved into uh, Minnesota territory. And they have a first down at the Minnesota 46-yard line. They're going to go end run Robert Newhouse, the fullback. The new fullback into the game. And that is a nine end run on the Minnesota defense. And that is going to be five yards. Wow. So they get five yards there. And that was two more plays that I forgot to get off. Uh, they're going to go line buck with the halfback. And that is Kelvin Hill. And that is a seven line buck. Line buck seven on the Minnesota defense is one yard. So they've got a, they've got a uh, third and four. Third and four, they're going to go flat pass to Mike Dick. And that's going to be a four. And it's a possible offensive penalty. But four on flat pass on Morton, uh, when they are, let's see, what are, are they looking for? Looking for it, yes. And so it is incomplete. Um, and let's see if there was a penalty on, on them. Five. And there is, they were off sides. So, um, you know what? They're going to refuse that penalty because that makes it fourth and four. So they will punt the ball away. Dallas will. And that's a seven. And uh, 38 back one. So that's going to that's gonna nail it all the way down to the two. Minnesota is returning the ball from the two-yard line. And that is a four on the punt return for Minnesota. And that's a fair catch. So they are nailed deep in their end. And that was a really great decision by Dallas right there. Um, they're going to come out and they're going to, okay. And the change for the uh, Minnesota Vikings, there is only one change. And that is that coming in at split end will be John Henderson. He'll be the new split end. Everybody else is the same and they're going to go end run with their half back and that is Dave Osborne. And that is a 10. Uh, 10 end run and there's a possible offensive penalty. Um, 10 end run is going to be four yards either way. But let's see if there was a, an offensive penalty on them. That's a five. Minnesota five offsides. That's going to be half the distance, and it's going to put them back to two. And they're going to have a uh, basically a 
uh, first and 11 now, and they're going to go off tackle with the fullback, and the fullback is Oscar Reed. And that's going to be a five. Off tackle five on Reed is going to be a possible fumble. And uh, they were, um, let's see, 10. They were looking for it? Maybe not. Let's see, second and one to ten pass. So they were looking for the pass. It's going to be a fumble zero, two to five or twelve. It is a fumble, two to six or twelve, they get it back. They do, but um, it's zero yards, and now it's second and eleven. And they're going to go flat to the tight end. Minnesota's going to Throw a flat pass to their tight end. That's a six. And that is going to be incomplete either way. And so now they got a third and 11. Third and 11, I believe. And so they're going to go end run with the halfback, something that the other team probably isn't looking for. That is an eight, end run eight. And on the Dallas defense, that is not going to be a lot. It's going to be zero. And so now they have to punt from their, deep in their own end. They need a really good punt here, and that really wasn't. That's an eight. That's a 42 back one. So uh, let's see. Uh, four, 10, 20, 30, 40. And back at uh, three, and Dallas is returning returning the punt from the uh, from their from the Minnesota 42 and back one is a six and that's going to be a fair catch so that's where they're going to end up with it first and ten for Dallas at the 42 and they're going to throw a long pass they're coming out and they're going to throw a long pass to the flanker who is Bob Hayes now and they've been passing a lot to Bob Hayes as the tight end in the first half. It hadn't really um, yielded anything. There's a possible offensive penalty, and it's a nine. And they are looking for the run. So um, let's see what nine long pass is on, the, uh, on, on Morton's quarterback card. It's incomplete. Let's see if there's an offensive penalty on Dallas. That is a four. There isn't. So it's second and ten. Second and ten, they're going to go end run with the new halfback. Or no, not the new halfback. Kelvin Hill, and he was the halfback in the first half. He gets a seven. There's a possible defensive penalty, and they were looking for the run. Um, seven is five yards, but let's see if there was a, if there was a defensive penalty. And uh, Minnesota, it says offsetting penalties. So offsetting penalties will just replay first down. So it's first and 10 again. They're going to go, um, or did they get zero? They might have gotten zero or an incomplete. So this might be second down. Thinking this is second down. So they're going to go flat to the tight end on second down. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You know. Um, six flat pass on the Minnesota defense is a short gain. And that's a seven, which is going to be like 15 yards, right? Yep, 15 yards for Dallas on that. Two, ten, three. So Dallas gets a first down. At least I know I'm right about that. First down and 10 at the Minnesota 32-yard um, line. And they're going to go, uh, they're going to go short pass to Ditka. My man Ditka. I knew I had to get him into the game. Six and um, they are, what are they doing? Short pass, six. And that's going to be incomplete. Um... So it's going to be second and ten, and they're going to go end run with the halfback, um, Calvin Hill. 
And he gets a five. That's a possible fumble. End run. Is it end run? Yep. End run five. Fumble negative two, two to nine. And it is a fumble in two to six or 12. He gets it back and he does, but it is going to be a negative two. And so now it is, what is it? Third and 12 now. And now they're going to go short to the tight end. Short to Ditka. And that's a six again. That's incomplete and a possible defensive penalty. And we'll roll for the penalty on Minnesota. Eight. It is not. So that brings us to a fourth and 12 from the 29 yard line. And from the 29 yard line, Tony Frisch is uh, 2 to 5, 11, or 12. It's the same thing that it's always been. And it is not good. So they do not make this field goal. That's a missed field goal. And Minnesota will take over at, the, at their own 29-yard line. First and 10. And they're going to go end run with the halfback on first down. And that is a six on the end run for Dallas's defense, and it's only a yard. Second and nine, they're gonna go flat pass to the tight end. Flat pass to the tight end is an eight and uh, they're looking for the run, wait a minute, for the pass one to 11, and otherwise they are looking for the run. So they're looking for the run, and this was a flat pass to the tight end on, Tarkenton car, on Tarkenton's card. And that's gonna be a receiver. So we referred to the receiver's card. The tight end is John Beasley. He gets a four and a four when they're not looking for it, as I believe they were not, is a 14 yard gain. So now it's gonna be first and 10 for Minnesota at their own uh, 44 yard line. And they're gonna go end run with the halfback. And their halfback again is Dave Osborne. And that's an 11, an 11, but they're looking for the run. End run is two yards. So it's going to be second and eight for Minnesota. They're going to go flat to their tight end. Oh, wait, there was a possible defensive penalty on that last play. So let's see. Six on Dallas is not a penalty, so it isn't. So we got a flat pass to the tight end, and that's going to be a two, and a flat pass two on Tarkenton's card when they are, what are they, second and nine, ten pass, so they are looking for the run, so they weren't looking for it, so it's a short gain. And we'll roll for the short gain, six is probably like 16 yards, and it is. 16 yard gain for Minnesota on that. And that puts them at first and 10 from the, the uh, Dallas 38 yard line. And uh, they're gonna try a long pass. Right here, they're gonna try a long pass with a first down. See if they can catch Dallas napping. And that is gonna be a three with a possible offensive penalty three on the long pass if they weren't looking for it and they weren't because they just got the first down so they weren't looking for it. it's a long game but let's see if they have an offensive penalty first 10 they don't so we're going to roll for the long game and that is a six and long game six is 35 yards that is a touchdown i think that's a touchdown yeah they were at the th i think they were at the 35 or inside the 35. So that is going to be a touchdown for Minnesota. Extra points, good, I'll roll it anyway, but it has opened up a pretty 
sizable lead here. They now lead the game 14 to 6, and they will kick off to Dallas. And that is an 8 on the kickoff, which is to the 3, number 1. Dallas receiving the kickoff at the 3. Their number 1 back, 9. Um, and that's going to be 21 yards. So out to the 24, first and 10 for Dallas at the 24-yard line. And they're going to go end run with the halfback. I mean, they're still really in the game, actually. It's 14 to 6. Uh, 6, 3 and 6, and they are looking for the run. And uh, so end run 6 on um, Kelvin Hill's card is 1 yard. It's one yard either way, really. So they got a second and nine. They're going to go short pass to the split end. Short pass to the split end. That's on nine. And that, let's see, one to second and pass. So they are looking for the pass, so it's incomplete. So it's going to be third and nine. Third and nine, they're going to go short to Ditka. Short pass to Ditka, six. I think that's incomplete. It is. And so Dallas has to punt as the third quarter winds down. And that is going to be a 38-yard back one. 10, 20, 30, and 8. And uh, their back one is returning it from their own 37-yard line. And that is an 8. That's going to be on Dallas's punt return. And it's going to be negative 2 yards. So uh, Minnesota has it first and 10 at the 40-yard line. And they're going to go end run with the halfback. I mean, now they can afford to eat the clock and just run uh, time-consuming plays because they're up by two scores. Because remember, in 1972, there was no option for an eight-point touchdown play. So uh, that's going to be a seven-end run on the Dallas defense, and it's going to be a yard. So they get one yard, and it's second and nine. They're going to go line buck with the fullback. And the fullback is Oscar Reed. That was uh, Dave Osborne, by the way, who got the one yard. But they're going to go line buck with him six. Possible offensive penalty. Six on the line buck on Oscar Reed's card is... Um, they are looking for the run, so it's, um, it's two yards. But let's see if there was an offensive penalty on Minnesota. Four, there is not. So they get two yards. And so now they have a, I believe they now have a third and seven. So third and seven, they're going to go flat to the tight end. And the tight end for Minnesota is um, John Beasley. And that's going to be a five flat pass, possible offensive penalty. Um, five flat pass is going to be, let's see, 10. I think they were looking for the pass. Third and third in pass. So they were looking for the pass. And on a five, that is going to be five yards, but let's see if there was an offensive penalty on them. Eight. There wasn't, so they get five yards. And that brings up a tough decision here. Um, they had a... Yeah, they've got a two, fourth and two right here. Fourth and two, they have to decide to go for it or not. And they're they're going to go for it. Minnesota's going to go for it on fourth and two. They're going to go flat pass to the split end. <clears throat> and that is an eight. That's going to be receiver. And the split end for Minnesota is uh, John Henderson. He's the new split end this half. 
and he gets uh, four yards and a first down. So Minnesota, they take the chance and they keep the chains moving and they're going to start with an end run halfback. That's Dave Osborne running the ball. A possible offensive penalty and it's a six. Um, six end run is going to be zero yards, but let's see if they have a penalty. Three, Minnesota, no. So, um... Zero yards is a second and ten for them. And that's going to be the end of the third quarter. So they are at the 47. So we'll move them over here to the 47. Going this way. And it's going to be first, uh, second and ten. It's second and ten for Minnesota from their own 47. They're going to go off tackle with the fullback, and the fullback being Oscar Reed. And that's going to be a three off tackle, and off tackle on Dallas is a short game. And that's going to be a nine, which is 13 yards. So they got a first down at the Dallas 40. If they score here, you got to believe that that's really going to be it for Dallas. There's an end run. I don't know, though. There was a lot of turnovers at the end of the first half, so maybe that would happen again. But we've got an end run halfback. That's going to be Dave Osborne on the end run. That is a 12, and they're looking for the run. And that's going to be zero yards because they were looking because they were looking for it. So it's a second and 10. They're going to go short to the split end. So the target here is going to be John Henderson, the new split end. And that is an 11, short pass 11 on Tarkenton is intercepted. And they were looking for the, uh, they were looking for the pass. So it's going to be intercepted plus 12, 2 to 4, 11 or 12. And it is 14 yards downfield intercepted. And Dallas is returning the, the interception from their own, uh, what, 31? From their own, um, no, from their own 26. Returning it from their own 26. Roll for the interception. Return it to three. And that's going to be 15 yards because it was not, it wasn't a flat pass, right? No, it was not. So it's going to be 15 yards, four, 10, and one. And so now Dallas has it first and 10 at their 41 yard line. And what did we say? There could be a lot of turnovers. I mean, these quarterbacks have thrown a lot of interceptions. And in fact, we're going to make a quarterback change for Dallas. Morton is out. Craig Morton is out. He's had a terrible game so far, and they are going to bring in the young uh, quarterback out of Navy, Roger Staubach. So Roger Staubach is the new quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys, and with him as the new quarterback, they're going to go long. They're going long to the flanker. They're not even going to waste any time. Long to the flanker, and in this case, that's going to be Bob Hayes. And that is a two long pass on the Minnesota defense, and uh, that's going to be 29 yards, two to seven. And that is, and look at what the difference bringing in Staubach makes four, 10, 20, and three. And that's going to be a first and 10 for Dallas at the uh, Minnesota 32 yard line. And they're going to go end run with Calvin Hill. End run Hill is a seven on the Minnesota defense. And it's going to be three yards. So they got a second and seven. Now all of a sudden they're moving the ball. Um, they're going to go off tackle with the fullback. And that's going to be Robert Newhouse. Off tackle with Newhouse. That's a five. That's a possible fumble. And they were looking for it. Um, fumble, negative one, two to four or 12. 
No. So he just loses a yard, and it's going to be a uh, third and eight, I believe. And they're going to go short pass to Ditka. Short pass to Ditka. That's a seven on the Minnesota defense. Possible offensive penalty. Uh, seven is 12 yards, though. So if it's, a, if it's not an offensive penalty, nine on the Dallas card is opponent offsides. But they'll take the play because it's 12 yards. And they have a first and 10 now, Dallas does, at the Minnesota 18-yard um, line, I believe. Yeah, looks like. And they're going to go short again, and this time they're going to go short to the split end, and this is going to be Ron Sellers that they're going short to. And that's going to be a seven short pass and on the uh, Minnesota defense, and I think that we know that that's a 12-yard gain, and it is. Um, and so three, ten, and back it off one, and it's going to be first and ten for Dallas, first and goal for Dallas, at the Minnesota six, and they're going to go end run with their halfback, Kelvin Hill. And that's a five, that's a possible fumble and a possible defensive penalty, too. So let's resolve the play first. Fumble, um, they're looking for the run. Fumble, negative one, two to four, or 12. It is not a fumble. So it would be a one-yard loss, but let's see if there's a defensive penalty on Minnesota. There isn't. So it's a one-yard loss. So it's second and goal from the seven-yard line. And they're going to go line buck with the fullback Newhouse. And that's going to be a seven line buck on the Minnesota defense, and that's going to be a yard. So now it's third and goal from the six. And now they've got to throw it into the end zone. They're going to go short to the split end. And their split end is Ron Sellers. And that is a 12 uh, short pass possible offensive penalty, though. It would be 11 yards and a touchdown, but let's see if there's an offensive penalty. Uh, nine on Dallas. Opponent offside, but they're going to take they're going to refuse the penalty and that is a touchdown for Dallas and Tony Frisch makes the uh, extra point Automatically, but we kicked it just for happenstance and stance and Dallas is back in this game It is now 14 to 13 with Dallas kicking off And a seven on the Dallas kickoff is to the seven yard line, number one. Minnesota receiving the ball. They're not out of the wood yet. They're receiving the ball at the seven. And number one back is a nine, rolls a nine on the kickoff. And that's going to be 23 yards. So that's out to the 30. So end up deep. Dallas can take heart in that. And they do have enough time with timeouts and everything to uh, force Minnesota, but they've got to get them uh, a, like a three and outer out quickly. They're going to go end run with the halfback, Minnesota is. And that is an eight end run. They're looking for the run. It's a possible offensive penalty too. So that's Osborne on the end run eight. And that's a negative eight if they are looking for it, which they are. Um, let me see. Yeah. No, they were, eh, wait a minute. They were looking for the pass. No, they were looking for the pass. So end run eight is uh, five yards, but let's see if there is an offensive penalty on Minnesota. Seven. There isn't, so they get five yards. So it's a second and five. Um, they're going to go end run with a fullback, and this time that's Oscar Reed. And that's going to be a nine, and they're looking for the run. End run nine on Oscar Reed is zero yards. So they got a third and ten, and they're going to go short pass to the split end. Short pass to the split end. That is a seven. 
they're looking for the run. That is, and that's going to be a seven on a short pass on Fran Tarkenton, and that's 13 yards. It's double 13 anyway. So they've got a first and 10 now at the at the uh, 30, I think the 30 yard line. Yeah. 30 yard line, first and 10. 215 left in the game. They're going to go end run with the halfback. And Dallas is going to call a timeout on this play so it, the time doesn't move. And it's going to be a seven, end run seven on Dallas's defense. And that's only a yard. So second and nine. Time didn't move on that. Now they're going to let time move again to the two minute warning. And then after that, the, the next play, time won't move because it'll be the two minute warning. But they're going to go. Um, off tackle with the fullback and off tackle with the fullback five that's a possible fumble on dallas's defense two to nine it's a fumble it isn't but it is a negative one yard loss so they have a uh they have a third and 11 now i think third and 11 and now it's the two minute warning time won't move on this and they're going to go short to the split end because they want to keep the ball and keep the ball away from the dallas offense uh, possible defensive penalty and uh, five on the short pass on dallas is receiver and uh, they are looking for they're probably looking for the pass but let's see Third and one to seventeen, so they were looking for the pass, and that was a short pass. So, um, oh, I don't even know what what did I roll? Uh, I'll re-roll it. I don't know what I rolled. Six. That's going to be 14 yards. Now, you know, my apologies. I shouldn't have grabbed the dice. I don't know why I did that. But um, they did get the first down, though. And now that may cost Dallas the game right there. Um, but time didn't move on that, so they're going to go end run with a halfback. End run with a halfback. And again, I apologize. I shouldn't have grabbed the dice because I didn't know what I rolled. I don't remember what I rolled. But... Um, Four end run on the Dallas defense, or no, on um, on Dave Osborne. That's Osborne four, and they are looking for the run. So it's a negative seven. This guy loses a lot of yards if you're right. So they've got a second and seventeen, and uh, now Dallas will call a timeout on this play. They're going to go short to the tight end. And Minnesota's tight end is um, John Beasley. And he gets a five, short pass five on the Dallas defense, is receiver. And they are, um, they're, oh, I don't know what they're looking for. Let's see. It's, um, it's I think it's third and, third and 15 or something. Third and 17. Looks like third and 17. 117 pass. They are looking for the. Uh, they're looking for the pass. That was a short pass. And uh, did I grab the dice again wrong? I should. I don't. I can't. Man, my memory. Um. I'm going to say it's incomplete, and that way I'm, I'm kind of making up for a mistake before. So now Minnesota's going to punt, and time didn't move there. And that's a six on the punt for Minnesota. 44 back to 10, 20, 30, 40, and four yards. So Dallas is returning from the from 31 yard line or from their own 26 yard line and that is a nine 
back two on the punt return, nine, is a fair catch. So here it is. Dallas has a chance right here, 26, two timeouts. Um, and they are going to take the first one here, and they're going to go long to the flanker. Long pass to the flanker. And that is a six. Long pass with Dallas, with uh, Minnesota looking for the run. So six on a long pass on Staubach is receiver. And the receiver is the flanker. And they're not looking for it. Nine on the flanker. And that's Bob Hayes now. And that's going to be 27 yards. 4, 10, 20, and 3. And that was their second time out. They're going to let time move on this one. But they've got one more time out. They're going to go long to the split end. And the split end is Ron Sellers. And that's an 11, long pass 11, is if they are looking for it. Let's see. They're looking for the run, I think. I think they're looking for the run. They were looking for the run. So it's intercepted 2 to 10. That's still pretty high. It would have been automatic if, okay, so it is intercepted 30 yards downfield. That's probably it. Two, a, what, a possible offensive penalty, but unless this is like against them, they would refuse it. Six, and it is no penalty, so two, ten, twenty, thirty, and then back it off two. And Minnesota is returning the interception from there, and that's a three, and uh, that's going to be. 15 yard return. 3, 10, and 2. First and 10 for uh, Minnesota from the 32 yard line. Um, Dallas didn't call a timeout on that. They only have one more. Minnesota's going to try an end run. And that is an 8 with Minnesota looking, or with Dallas looking for the run. That is an eight end run. And that is Dave Osborne. And he loses eight yards, of course, because the guy is terrible when, you, when you're looking for it. Uh, Dallas is gonna call a timeout here. And Minnesota on second and 18 is gonna go short to the tight end. Short pass to the tight end eight on the Dallas defense is negative eight yards. And I think they called the timeout. I think they called their last timeout on that play. So now Dallas doesn't have any more timeouts, but Minnesota has a third and forever. Dallas is only looking for the pass on this. And they're going to go end run with the halfback, which is Osborne, and just try to get some yards. And that's an 11 end run on his card, and it's nine yards. And that's all they wanted. They're going to punt the ball away. And it's a six, 44 back to 10, 20, 30, 40, four, and a back two return on the punt return is a four. And that's going to be a fair catch, and it's first and 10 for Dallas at their 31. They're going long because they don't have any timeouts. Going long to the flanker. So the target for this is going to be Bob Hayes. And that is a four long pass, and they're only looking for the pass. So whatever, whatever that roll was, they're looking for the pass. So that's a four. And that is a must run. They were looking for it, so Staubach is out scrambling on his own. And that's a 12, which is a fumble negative 2. And 2 to 6 or 12, they get it back. They don't. And so Minnesota is going to pick it up right there. And that is probably the death knell right now for Dallas. Um, 
and they're gonna go end run with the halfback. Dallas is well three end run three is gonna be a short gain. Um, just yeah, and that's a five, and that is seventeen yards. Three, ten, and two. And there's only three more plays left in the game. They're going to go end run with the fullback. And that is Oscar Reed. And that's a five. That's a possible fumble. End run, five, negative three, two to nine. That is a fumble, two to six or 12. They get it back. They do get it back. And they are going to go off tackle with the halfback. And that is a seven off tackle. Um, and that's going to be negative one. And this is going to be the last play of the game. You know what? They're going to kick the field. I'm going to try to kick the field goal just to rub it in, just to make it look a little worse. Uh, but um, their field goal from the, I mean, and, you know, I know I realize in real life they wouldn't do this. It, from the 17-yard line, Minnesota from the 17 kicking is 2-7, to seven, 11, or 12 good. It isn't anyway. And so that's how the game will end. And the final score is the Vikings 14 and the Cowboys 13. That was a hell of a game. And that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.